All right, Steve, so let's talk about some common pests uh, for gardeners. I mean, if someone has a home garden or a farm, you know, I know those tend to be the, the people who tend to use pesticides the most. What are some natural ways uh, that people can get rid of pests in their garden without using any kind of chemicals? Before we had pesticides, we had better control than we do now with pesticides. My grandma was a very interesting lady. And today people don't understand what I'm going to try to share with you because most people have dishwashers. We had, she had two buckets, two plastic containers in her sink. She had one with soapy water and one with rinse water. And she would wash the plates and then rinse them and put them on a rack to dry. When she got done, she took that soapy water and the rinse water, and went out to the garden and threw it on her plants. She didn't have any pests. The soap water killed the pests. And the debris that was in the in the, in the dishes acted like a fertilizer. She had a lush garden just using gray water, dish water. I sit down and I think, uh, have you forgotten what we've done since the beginning of time, basically? The Chinese were the first ones to say, so will kill bugs. I say there is any cleaner that won't kill any insect faster than any pesticide. The problem is, is that when you tell somebody that, they say, well, is that labeled? Can I spray that on my crop? You know, dish soap? No, not labeled for that. Will it work? Yeah, it works fine. How do you know that? Well, I had a guy here that was growing apples. And he had a big tank that he sprayed huge with forces, blowing it poison all over his orchard. And he had to put in there a pesticide, and he also put in a thing called a surfactant, which is basically soap. And he said to me, uh, can you help me? I said, I'd be happy to. And he was growing apples, and apples and corn and cotton use so many pesticides that's, like, that's outrageous. In fact, all areas of, there's whole areas of the country where they can't grow them anymore. Cotton fields can no longer be used. They can't use cotton because it, it's just economically impossible to pay more for the pesticides than the cotton grow. So they don't grow cotton. They now plant rice in those fields that are contaminated with all those terrible pesticides. And so now you've got poison in your rice. But let's forget to go back to the apple side. I said, let me do something for you. I said, why don't you spray half the orchard with your soap, surfactant, and pesticides? I said, then go to the other side of the orchard and do that with just the surfactant. He said, really? I said, yes, let's try it. He got the same control. He went to the state of Michigan and he said, I'm going to spray the surfactant. He said, you can't do that. It's not registered. He said, it's, is it, when I add it to the poison, is it okay? Yes. If I don't use the poison, it's not okay. Right. Is that logical to anybody? It's logical to the regulatory people who want you to use poison. It's very simple to get rid of pests in a garden. It's very simple to simply go through there and make sure, first of all, you plant things, you know, you, the biggest problem with people today is they've forgotten what crop rotation is. They want to plant corn every year in that same acreage, every single year. It depletes the soil, it gets corn borer and all kinds of pests in there, or cotton every year, or whatever. They keep planting the same crop and the same thing, and they got all these pests. If you don't dig this, you stop using corn there and put in, you know, wheat, or you put in oats, or you put in pumpkins, or beans, or whatever. The pests don't go after that. If you've got squash beetles, don't plant squash. Rotate the crop. But you can also do things with simply dust. Food grade diatomaceous syrup will kill most pests. There are many, many, many ways. And like one of the things that I invented is what I call the ideal pesticide. 
and I have a patent on it. At, uh, and you can you can you can find it. And what it does is it's got diesel, meat tenderizer, which is protease, peppermint, and glycerin. And anything you spray with that, again, it's just another variation of a soap, a cleaner, but it's a very good variation. It will kill any insect, any arachnid, any fungus, any mildew, any mold, any germ, or any virus, all without harming you, and they can't become resistant. Why? Because when a spider or a scorpion try to kill a prey, they inject protease enzyme into it. The scorpion this way, the spider this way. And it kills that insect, whatever they're feeding. Now, every time an insect molts, it creates a little protease zipper. It splits open, and it comes out, gets twice as big, hardens and scampers off. If they ever became immune to protease enzyme, they wouldn't grow up. It's an itsy bitsy little bug that couldn't do any pest damage whatsoever. So this is the perfect pesticide, the ideal pesticide. It doesn't create resistance. It can't cause any problems to anybody, and it kills everything. The only thing it doesn't kill is worms, or more, whatever. It doesn't, because they don't have an ectoskeleton. But anything with that ectoskeleton dies. So it's a very perfect pesticide. And we call that uh, uh, treatment enzyme graph.